Brussels Full Coats here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Let's go, go, go. In front of me today, 2023-24 SP Game Use. Let's cruise. Hopefully we win. We won't lose. We'll see. Very binary product. 80 rookie cards in the set, so really hard to hit the one you want to hit. But there are some really good rookies beyond Bedard in this set. Uh, you can see the foundations, clear cut of Joe Sackick in the background. There are great legends within this set as well. So... Configuration, six cards per pack, one pack per box, 18 boxes per case, base set, one through two, 80, including 100 base, but then there's also the Stars, All-Stars, 36 Legends, I believe, in the set, 80 authentic rookies, right? Within a box break, expect your one auto premium mem. It's really a relics product more than an autos product, plus three mem and or tech cards and two base set and or inserts. So I already did the rundown of this product in a separate video. Check that out. I you know described all of the Bedard cards. You can freeze frame this shot. It definitely has all his base and base parallels listed. Of course, his true base is numbered to 98. The 98 of 98 would be autoed. You know, there's jersey parallels, auto parallels, RPAs, and banner years, deep cuts, draft day marks. Draft day marks are really, really cool. But you can see the rest of these, including the new grooves, the rookie sweaters, and people are certainly talking about his debut net cord, right? His debut net cord, uh, number to 35, the gold version, number to five, a product hit from his debut. So let's get into it, guys. Look for the banners, look for the net cords, look for the puck materials, look for the new signs. Uh, they are a new insert set. There's cones in the product this year. I don't believe there's seats and I don't believe there's tickets, but there's all kinds of stuff. So we're just gonna get right into it today, my friends, right into it. And there is the pack. Is it hefty? Is it thin? I'm not sure. Uh, we will have to hide and dissemble it somehow, perhaps with the box. There does appear to be something vaguely thick in there. I am not going to look on any level, my friends. All right, decoy, and we'll just go like this. We'll just go like this, why not? Okay. Now worth stating within this product this year, the most uh, cards, the teams with the most cards would be Columbus, Calgary, Nashville, uh, Boston, Chicago, Buffalo, Habs, Detroit. So it is a year where Calgary has a bunch of rookies, of course, Dustin Wolf, Coronado, and all those guys. So do look, absolutely uh, don't, you know, flake on the fact that some of the lesser quantities like Nashville, like Nashville, uh, they do have the most cards in the set. So they are probably decent in group rape this year. So they do have legends and we actually hit the Pecarine. So this would be one of the red base cards and you'll see the numbering right down there. A beauty hit of the Pecarine. And I think that was 241, wasn't it? So 241 would have been 200 plus his age, which is how the numbering works for the reds, right? For the uh, vet or legend reds or base reds, if you will. So let's see who we have next here. Do we have another red here? It looks reddish, let's see. And once again, we do have a red here and it's Nick Sweeney. So this is one of the authentic rookies. Uh, and it is again, a red of Nick Sweeney, which probably means he's 26 years old, right? Um, so we have the thickage, so we should go below the thickage, right? Don't you guys agree? Perhaps from the back, let's try the back this time. Let us try the back. So we just have a base banner here. Uh, usually people are not big fans of this, um, but it is in fact a banner from the NHL Stadium Series, right? So this I'm gathering is unnumbered and it is a Sveshnikov. And all the cards feel and look very red thus far. All right, do we go from the back? Let's go from, oh, you know what? Let's go, let's take this one. Okay, we'll try this one here. We're gonna do the other one last, right? The thickage we'll do last. And we have a Kevin Fiala. And so this is a jersey. So this is a base jersey of some sort, right? And of course you can see it's a base parallel because it's the same design and it's Kevin Fiala and it is in the all-star gear, right? In the all-star gear. All right, so we have one more and then the thickage, right? And I think that one's falling down. So let's see what's next here. We have a duel. We do have a duel and it's one, oh, that's nice. It's a J-Rob. So we do have a Robo uh, from the All-Star Skills and it is a Jersey. 
that is handsome as well. And what does it say on the back? Certified, the Upper Deck Company is being used. See, it was used. So, you know, the other thing about game used, you know, is the All-Star competition a game? Um, it is a game in a sense, right? So it is was used during that all-star competition. I know a lot of people are, you know, down on upper deck. If you don't like the product, if it's too expensive, although, you know, the prices are just gonna go up over time because Bedard will always be within the product. But, you know, it's up to you guys to do what you want. If it's not your product, you don't have to buy it. It's like, you don't have to also take to Reddit and just debase everything and completely complain, I'd say. Uh, but I, I like being a positive force in the uh, hobby. I understand the notion of being critical, but there's thousands and billions of products out there that aren't for you. Do you take to Reddit to complain about them? But uh, that's just my thing. So we have a thicket here, and I'm guessing, I'm guessing it is, I'm guessing, okay? I'm guessing that this is either a puck or a net cord because I don't think it's a draft day marks. Uh, there are Hall of Fame marks. There are Hall of Fame marks of, you know, Morris Richard and people like that. Obviously, they can't sign. So I think they're unsigned, unfortunately. So they're just manufactured patches. But we do have a net cord, I believe. That is my best guess. Just the thickage. I've hit these cards before. So the question is from what game? And it's from the Winter Classic. So that should narrow it down. And I, looking, it looking, it's looking like a bean. So did I hit a Boston rune here? So that is sick. That is sick. This is such a good hit from this product. I'll take that all day and night. We do in fact have a Pavel Zaka net cord. That is beautiful. These are sick cards and it is number 235, I believe. Number 235, so it's a base and not a gold because I believe they do have gold parallels. And this of course would have been used within the game as well. So interesting box of this stuff. I assume this is one of the case hits on some level. I mean, how could it not be as a net cord numbered only to 35? Um, and I have to say, so some quick intel guys, some quick intel, the teams with the most amount of cards, again, would be Columbus, Calgary, Nashville, which is why I hit Nashville, Boston, which is why I hit Boston, Chicago, Buffalo, Montreal, Red Wings. And the teams with the most autos would be Calgary. It would be Chicago, but note that you're going to hit a lot of lesser non-Bedard cards because there's a lot of Chicago cards in the set. Columbus, Buffalo, Ottawa, Montreal, the Islanders, the Ducks, okay? So just keep that in mind. I do want you guys to go check out Sports Card Analysis before you get into group breaks to understand who you want to pick as a team. Calgary is good in this product, right? Calgary is good in this product because you do have Coronado and you have Dustin Wolfs and you have Zary and some big names, right? Uh, equally, who is big in this? You know, Columbus, right? Because they have Fantilli. So it's a little bit different teams than prior years. So keep that in mind, guys. I will be opening up two more boxes of this stuff. So stay tuned for that, guys. Stay tuned for that. So that's basically it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. See my standalone video if you want to learn more about the Bedard cards, etc. It does have a lot of legends in the product, including a deceased Tony O with a piece of pad. So, you know, those are product hits, but, you know, enjoy nonetheless. I'll be breaking a couple more boxes. Do me the honor of sub liking, hashtagging, drawing. I'm going to give away a ton more cards. I have too many cards on hand. Uh, I have to get rid of them. I'm full of cards. Hope you enjoy that. Full of cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City. I love you guys. Yeah.